What's up guys, today we'll be doing the best budget uh, Android phone, so let's go ahead and get started. So first is the Moto G7, uh, this is my favorite, so I've been a fanboy of uh, Motorola for a while now. Uh, so this is a great phone because it comes in at the price of about $289, uh, so you do get that Snapdragon 632 processor along with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. Uh, so what I really love about this phone is that it has a great build quality and design. It has pretty excellent cameras and good lighting. Uh, at least for the rear cameras uh, so it is compatible with all uh, US and international carriers as well and you do have the Moto display which adds a lot of value uh, to this phone and it also comes with the latest version of Android the only thing this phone does not really have is uh, NFC and uh, it does have a really nice display a full HD display as well uh, so I think you're getting a really good deal. This has the 3000 milliamp battery, which will get you through the day. Uh, it does have, like again, that Snapdragon 632 uh, processor, USB Type C. Uh, so it's just a really, really nice phone. I think the hardware is solid, and definitely this is the one to go with. Now, next is the Nokia 6.1. So, what I really love about this phone is it comes at a pretty fair price of $229, and I think it has some really great specs to back it up, along with this really good hardware. So, if you love Nokia hardware, you, they're known for great hardware, it's going to be a great phone for you. Uh, so, it does have Android a 9.0, the latest. You do get 3 gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage, and 5.5 inch display. It is a full HD display. Display, the Snapdragon 630 along with a 16 megapixel camera and an 8 megapixel front facing camera. Now you do have USB type C on here, a fingerprint scanner and NFC which is really nice. Uh, so that micro SD you can expand the storage up to 256 gigabytes. Next is the Google Pixel 3a so you can pick this up for about $400. Uh, this phone has an amazing amazing camera it's one of the best I, I've ever tried on any smartphone if you haven't seen my review check it out uh, so you have a pretty good build quality with this polycarbonate shell yes it is plastic but it still feels like a you know a premium smartphone it doesn't feel cheap to me uh, you do get a guaranteed three years of updates so you will get the next three versions of Android uh, the UI is extremely clean as you know and it works at most carriers uh, so $400 isn't super cheap but um, I think for the camera that you're getting on this phone, uh, it's going to get as cheap as it can get. Uh, so, the stereo speakers on here will blow you away. They're really, really nice. Um, the display is not a bad size. It's actually a really decent size display. Uh, so, that's what I really like. You can use it with one hand uh, really easy. Uh, you do, do not have a notch on this phone, uh, which is actually, I didn't mind at all. I really prefer uh, having a little bezel sometimes. Even though the bezels are a bit huge on here, it didn't really bother me. But, best camera phone uh, you can get uh, for cheap. Next is the Samsung Galaxy A50 you can find for about $275 on Amazon. Uh, this is probably the most feature packed smartphone so if you want the most out of your phone uh, this is definitely going to be the one. You have the built in fingerprint scanner which is pretty cool. Uh, you do have a 6.4 inch Super AMOLED display uh, so you do have the Exynos 9610 processor, 4 gigabytes of RAM and a really nice big 4000 milliamp battery which will get you through at least 2 days of battery life. So you do have a 25 megapixel and an 8 megapixel sensor and you do have a 5 megapixel sensor for depth. So it's pretty cool to see triple camera setup on a uh, kind of budget smartphone. Uh, so you do have the Samsung One UI which is among I think one of the best UIs you can get on a phone. So if you want a phone with an AMOLED display, uh, a built in fingerprint scanner in the display, uh, this is going to be one of the best phones you can get. Great battery life, uh, it does have the headphone jack, it's just an awesome phone. Now the Nokia 7.1 has the best build quality out of all these phones. Uh, it is made out of glass and metal which is pretty cool. Uh, so you do have the Android 1 software, a Snapdragon 636 uh, processor is very speedy so you get 2 years of updates with this phone and security patches. Uh, you do have, uh, cameras are actually pretty good, they're not terrible, they actually uh, take some really decent photos and great lighting. Uh, so there is no CDMA support uh, so that kind of sucks and uh, everyone won't really love the notch or sort of like the big bezels at the bottom uh, but I didn't have a really problem with this phone uh, so thanks for watching this video and I will catch you guys in the next one